Hey everybody, this is Aaron Whitehead. Welcome to Learn to Play the Piano. This is lesson 11 in a series of short lessons. In this video, we'll focus on the notes of the treble and bass clef. Hopefully you remember from our last lesson where we learned that the treble clef is also called the G clef because it tells us which line is G. Now notes occur on the staff on both the lines and in the spaces between the lines. So the second line up from the bottom is G, which means that the space directly above it is A and the space directly below it is F. So now let's look at each line and space in the treble clef and see which note it is. Typically the bottom of the treble clef is thought of as the note C. And this C is not just any C, it's it actually has a special name, it's called middle C because it's the C that's roughly in the middle of the piano keyboard. And that middle C actually occurs on the line just below the five lines of our staff on an imaginary line that happens in between the treble and the bass clef. We'll explain that more later. But for the time being, we imagine that there's a line that goes through that bottom note, that is middle C on the treble clef. So the space directly above that would be D. And the line above that, the bottom line of the staff, would be the note E. So the space above the E would be the note F. And as we already discussed, the second line is G. The space above that is A. The middle line is B. And the space above that is C. So you can see how the notes on the keyboard line up with the notes on the staff. But let's get rid of the keyboard and let's look specifically at the staff now and review. The bottom note in the treble clef on a line of its own is middle C, then you have above that D, first line is E, the space above that is F, second line is G, space above that is A, the middle line is B, the space above that is C, the fourth line is D, the space above that is E, and the top line is F. Now let's take a look at the bass clef. Here's the way the notes of the bass clef line up with the notes of the keyboard. And you can see the top note of the bass clef is on a line of its own. That's a C as well, just like the treble clef. And that's actually middle C. That middle C joins the treble clef with the bass clef. So continuing down from that middle C, the note below C is B. The note on the top line of the bass clef would be A. The note in the space below that would be G. The second line down is the note F, and the space below that is E. The line in the middle is D, and the space below that would be the note C. And again, let's take a look at the bass clef now without the keyboard and see how the notes occur all the way going down. And as you can see, the notes continue to descend alternating between lines and spaces throughout the seven letters A through G. And finally here you can see how the notes of both the bass and the treble clef line up with the notes of the keyboard. Notice the importance of that middle C note which anchors both the bass and the treble clef together. When the bass and the treble clef occur together as in piano music, we call this the grand staff. We hope you enjoyed lesson number 11. And if you did, you might also enjoy our book which is now available in e-format on Amazon and Barnes & Noble or from our website, thepianochordbook.com. We also have an app out for the Droid and the iPhone, which you can find on iTunes and the Android market. And please join us next time where we will discuss rhythm in music notation. Thanks, God bless, and see you next time.